60 months now until September 3rd. That's the power of German engineering. You're watching News Channel 5, where the news comes first. Good evening, everyone. Here is a live look downtown, hot and hazy. The second day of triple-digit triple temperatures and a heat advisory has been extended through Sunday. Mike Roberts in the First Alert Weather Center with some more information on our weather. Well, you know what, Kelly? This is the unofficial end of summer, but somebody forgot to notify Mother Nature. We got to 103 degrees today. That ties a record, standing for only a couple of years, set back in 2011. And, of course, yesterday we had a record high. Now we have concerns about the impact that a cool front will have when it plows into all of this heat and humidity. There is a severe thunderstorm watch in effect for McCoupin, Montgomery, Bond, Fayette, Effingham, Clay, and Marion counties. It's in effect until 10 p.m., as long as we're here, we should also tell you this heat advisory that we had in effect is still in effect through 7 o'clock tomorrow evening because tomorrow evening may be not quite as warm, but still warm enough to support triple digit heat indices with highs in the upper 90s. That's tomorrow right now to the south and east of St. Louis in St. Clair County. There is a significant weather advisory in effect because of this storm, which is right over the top of Mascuta. It is moving to the southeast barely at 15 miles an hour. It's capable of producing 0.5. You can't really see it, but there's a dot there. Half inch diameter hail, a lot of lightning and maybe 40 mile an hour winds, especially when this collapses, and that should happen in the next half hour to 45 minutes. It is tracking to the southeast. There are a few other places with almost storms, but not quite. There is a cell trying to form just to the south of Highway 70 in Warren County. This is an area of low pressure that is following a cool front that's to the north of us. That's where the current severe weather that we have in Illinois is not quite in our viewing area. But again, there are concerns about heat as well. Look, it's 97 degrees in Chesterfield, 96 degrees in St. Charles, where we've had rain cooled air. It's made a huge difference. Scott Air Force Base was 100. Now it's 82 degrees. Strong to severe storms are, spe are especially possible this evening on the Illinois side. Thus, the severe thunderstorm watch in effect until 10. But it could be a rough ride through Sunday. I'll tell you more about that and cooler temperatures in a few minutes. All right, Mike, and with it being so hot, we want to remind everyone Cool Down St. Louis is here to help. It has air conditioners ready and waiting for seniors and people with disabilities. For more info or to get an air conditioner, call Cool Down, cool Down St. Louis at 314-241-7668. You can also go to cooldownstlouis.org. In less than six hours, history will be made in the city of St. Louis. For the first time since the Civil War, the city will have control of its police department. So, what does that mean for you? News Channel Vice Tracy Clemens joins us live from the St. Louis Police Department to break it down. Yeah, Kelly, the transition will officially happen at 12 